Welcome everyone, my name is Sam, and this is my Let's Play of Dark Souls 2. This is all post-commentary, so I will be your guide through this hellish world full of deaths. But first, a cutscene. Enjoy. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. A murky, forgotten land. Place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded the symbol of the curse, an augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. drawn to a flame. Your wings will burn in anguish. Time after time. For that is your fate. The fate of the cursed. Alright, I love that cutscene. It's a lot better quality than the Dark Souls 1 cutscene. Um, not like that means much, but I just thought it looked really awesome. Also, I, if, I mean, I didn't actually watch it, but I think that was a good chunk of the launch trailer that was popping up all over the place last night, because I'm recording this in the morning um, of Dark Souls 2's release on Tuesday. Oh man, I love that view right there. Dark Souls is really good about environments. Very weird, first time. 
Um, I believe both Demon Souls and Dark Souls, you start by creating character. This time, we're some sort of unknown person. Yeah, I'm sort of just messing around with the button, seeing what I got. Um, you don't got much, to be honest. Uh, that's the new interface you'll see here. You can have three weapon slots, three shield slots, but you know those could also be weapons. You got belt stuff down below. We'll see more of that later on. Um, I do like this. I, th I think it works pretty well because they s explain more of the story. Um, oh yeah, those things, I thought they were going to attack me. You're good. Don't worry. Um, I should mention that since this is all post-commentary, I already know what happened. I'm a mind reader. I can see into the future that or I died a bunch of times, so I can sort of tell you what happened. Um, also, I do in fact have the strategy guide. But I'm not going to be abusing it because I'm going to try my best to get through what I can on my own. But when I'm really stuck or I, I want to show extra stuff, strategy guide. Regardless, we got some weird women here. I say weird because they're very creepy. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end See? Up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You'll go hollow. That's rude. Yes. You will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> Again, very, very creepy. What is your name? Hmm, let me recall that, Professor Oak. <laughs> Not like this. One thing I don't like is how you type. So let's not type. <laughs> My name is, of course, gonna be One Up Box, like the channel. Because um, otherwise, I think there would be no way to know that this is actually my gameplay. <laughs> but it is, so. You know your own name. Here's your reward for sharing. <laughs> you get a gold star. It's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Uh, every time I see our undead's fingers, they're really gross. They look like molded cheese left out for a week in January. January? June. Definitely June. Yes. It's an effigy of you. Yeah, this is actually an item completely new to this game, as far as I know. But neato. The effigy. Um, turns you into human so right now we're creating what we're gonna look like as a human so starting out gifts this is what you got life ring human effigy all that stuff um, you can get all of these items through gameplay um, but you can pick whatever you want I am gonna go with the life ring because I already know what well at the time I already knew what class I was gonna go uh, which happens to be swordsman. I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I should show you guys. All right, these are the classes. Of all of them, I think swordsman might have been not such a great pick because swordsman has very low health. I don't know if the lowest, but he has low health, but really high dex and um, okay strength, I think. And um, yeah, uh, that sort of ruins me later on because I have no shield for a while and that makes it tough. But, you know. I'm, it's not like I was stuck and had to make a new character or anything. It's just I had a bit more difficulty, or I had a bit more of a difficult time. But dual swordsman is, or yeah, well, swordsman, dual swords, and whatever. They're cool because you get to use two swords, and dual wielding in this game is completely changed, so it's so much better. Anyways, um, yeah, you can pick whatever body type you want, male, female, all that good stuff. And here I like it, you could either be just normal or chiseled as hell. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, some other cool stuff you can see down below, but first you don't want to look at other stuff. Um, I was like, nah, that looks weird. Um, hair, 
I like that you got a little bit of a like a Vegeta going on there. It's nice. Um, I was half thinking of like some dreadlocks or whatever, but no. Also, dear God, yes, the colors have changed. Now the colors are actually proper. Like you don't have weird sliders that just say red or blue. Like you could actually visualize it, and I like that. It's um, much better. The only gripe I have with this whole character creation thing is that, at least on the PS3, um, at least on my PS3, I don't know if this is the case for anybody, I'm just throwing it out there, um, it lagged a lot, but it's okay, because there's beards. <laughs> there's beards, I love it. Oh boy, that's new. There's There wasn't facial hair before. Um, tattoos, I believe, also new. And just throwing this out there, I don't know, but I think the tattoos... Which you'll see in a second. Um, I believe they all stand for the different covenants. That's my guess. Um, Cause you see a dragon in there. You see some other stuff. Um, it's just like I, I think that makes sense. Um, and you could have them on your face and all that, but I'm not gonna bother because I barely know what any of them are. And I don't want to stick a covenant's tattoo on my face. Anyways, I like this. I <laughs> I can make them creepy too. Just I was thinking of red eyes, but instead let's go with the white. A piercing gaze and um, I think that's about it in the facial area I was trying to figure out how you actually change his face and then I realized oh advanced settings so um yeah age and hormones I think will change the most um, but watch I just take it a little bit too far and it takes a while to actually like show up and he looks very they get very yellowish, I noticed. At least when you're like, like fair, white skinned, um, they get very yellowish as they get older. And I guess also wrinkle lines and all that, but it's, it's weird. But I like this, you could be weak or you could be strong. I was going for more of a, um, like a chiseled yet, you know, sort of, um, small-ish dude, thin, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I think it works. Uh, I have no clue. Anyways, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the creation. And we have our character. Um, for better or for worse, we have our character. <sighs> I, I, I sigh because I had a little bit of difficulty. All people come and, uh, here for the yeah. Same I don't know. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Curse. Don't worry You're about it. No different, I should think. Hmm. Doesn't stand a chance. These women are very rude. They don't believe in you at all. Um, there's three of these women. My guess is that they're like the three sisters that could see into the future or some crap. Isn't that a thing in mythology? I think it is. I don't know. I like this. I like the fact that they say go to the door. <laughs> oh boy. That's good. That, what's she saying? Keep on your souls? That is actually a good point. You lose your souls. Again, very true. Over and over again. Yeah. Now that's so true. But also, uh, watch for the cutscene change here. We go from a uh, hooded guy with no items, nothing. We turn to this guy. <laughs> yeah, very different. I like it though. We got a little bit of a, I don't know, like a Scottish looking thing with the, the beard and everything. Anyways, remember it yourself, which is good. Uh, two weapons, very awesome. I'll talk about more about how the uh, weapons, or the dual wielding actually changed in the next episode, because we're drawing to the close with this one. And uh, that's not the right door. The right door that you want to go out, that they wanted you to go out, is to the left right now. This but first, I thought, let's talk to the, the barmaid here. A link I think she's a barmaid. And the outer world. Fair traveler, I know that you must have a story. Mm -mm, nope. No story at all. Why else would you visit such a place? This lost, decayed kingdom. Yeah, uh, she probably has more to say. You could always come back here, I'm pretty sure, so there's no worries there. Our first chest of the game, yay. Open this, you get a human effigy, so you get more than you already started with. I think they gave you one or two to, um, just to begin. Also, 
yeah, destroying items by rolling his back. I love it. Regardless, uh, that's the episode. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.